Hello everyone, this is Luke, and I'm going to show you a four-player chess puzzle in which red and yellow are in a team against blue and green. It is red to move. If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the winning moves. As a matter of fact, this will be a checkmate in two. Two move cycles. Find the winning moves for red and yellow. Are you ready? So, first we must note that this green bishop is checking the yellow king. And the first move by red will be to take that bishop with this queen. So he's going to go here. That is check on both blue and green. So we're going to look at the line in which blue pawn recaptures the red queen. So he'll go here. And then it is yellow to move and to make an even more spectacular move. Are you ready for this one? Yellow is going to move the queen to this square right here. And green king is gonna be forced to recapture that queen. He can go nowhere else. So what is red's follow-up here? Red basically only has one uh, basically only has one move. He's gonna move his king to g6. And it doesn't matter what blue does now. Blue can try anything. He cannot check yellow. That's very important. It's a very important detail in this puzzle. He cannot check yellow. He can promote this to a queen, but it doesn't matter what he does. If he moves his queen here, that checks red, but then yellow can move here with this pawn. And that, my friends, is checkmate. Green has no legal moves. It is not blue's turn, it is green's turn, and the yellow pawn cannot be recaptured. And nor can the king be moved in any direction that he can be safe. These other kings have a very important role in guarding those squares. And green's pieces right here are blocking him from being able to move anywhere. Wow. Just one pawn and two kings, and that's all it takes to checkmate green even with an abundance of material on the opposing sides. This puzzle was created in, in honor of the game that my friends VRDTMR and Gustav Klimpaints have won successfully with just two pawns. And they checkmated the king in a very similar way. So I created this in honor of them. And so... Uh, I showed Gustav this puzzle, and he uh, he saw my original puzzle, which was, did not have the rook, knight, or bishop here in, on its original squares, or nor the pawn on d12. And it had the bishop over uh, here. Um, as you can see, this wasn't exactly a mate in two because blue could have moved the king anywhere else. So let's go through the variation where blue does not recapture. And blue instead decides to move his king. So if blue does move his king, he moves it here. After, after of course, red captures the bishop. Then yellow can move this queen to h5 and green is forced to move the king it doesn't matter which square you can move it here but then in either case the red queen is going here and he's going to checkmate blue same thing would happen if blue moved his king to to b10 and so there, that is a checkmate in two. What did you think of this puzzle? Did you like it?
I hope you guys enjoy watching this. And I wish you best of luck in all of your variants of chess. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.